When the putter swings away from the golf ball, the putter and shoulders move in one piece. Your head has to remain as quiet as possible. The longer the backswing, the more the right shoulder tilts up in the backswing. The putter face has to remain looking at the golf ball in the backswing. Now, why do I recommend that? If you can get the putter to go straight back and straight through and the face is square, you're going to start getting the golf ball to go where you want it to go for the first time maybe. It will go in the direction with the correct amount of impact. If you keep the putter face low to the ground, when you come back and make contact with the golf ball, it will have the right loft on it. Okay, let's go over some of the mistakes that you make when you get on the green. Number one, you don't take the time to gather the information that you need. Number two, you don't use that information correctly. And number three, most importantly, is you wind up just reading the putt instead of the overall green. Now let me explain how golf professionals read greens and amateurs read putts. When there's a 10 foot putt, an amateur looks only from the golf ball to the cup and there isn't a lot of information other than that that they gather. But when a golf professional has a 10 foot putt, they read the overall lay of the green. They even take a look at the bunkers to see if the bunkers are lower on one side than the other. That's called reading the greens. We take in the whole lay of the green where most of the time amateurs only read the putt at hand. Reading the green, gathering that information, that's where the value is in you improving your long distance putts. I begin by walking the last 50 yards with 110% focus on looking for the fall line. As I approach the green, I am beginning to feel the overall steepness of the putting surface. Notice how I go through the steps of gathering information I need for this difficult putt. Hitting putts from off of the green. The reason I love to teach this part of the game is because no one in the world can tell you when you should or should not use your putter. Now, the reason that I haven't used this shot a lot in my career is because I've been blessed to be a good chipper and pitcher. And so if you're struggling with your chipping and pitching and or if you come to the last hole or two and you have a two or three shot lead, this is the greatest shot in golf. It's the safest shot in golf. I'm gonna show you a great drill that you can use right on the putting green before you start hitting your longer putts. That way your stroke will become more precise early in the round and you won't have to try to discover your stroke. When you walk out on the putting green, you can find at some place on the putting green, there's a two or three foot area where the fringe is straight. And all you do is drop a couple of golf balls, put the toe of the club up to the fringe and start making some swings. Watch. And you can start to discover your stroke that day right here and see if it's going straight back or if it's going a little outside. As a matter of fact, you don't even need to golf ball the first few times. Just walk up to the edge of the putting green and make a couple small strokes. You can't believe what this will tell you the first few times. You might go out here one time, you might be too much inside but it'll give you instant feedback and it's a great drill. You could stand here and you don't need 10 feet of straight, you just need a couple feet. And your stroke doesn't have to be for 50 foot putts, it can be for five footers and 10 footers, just to see if your stroke is online for that day.